Hey everyone, we're building DB Pro, a modern desktop app for databases that's both beautiful and powerful. Welcome to devlog number three, where we share the highs, lows, and everything we're doing to build and launch DB Pro. And honestly, this might be our biggest episode yet. Why? Because after three months of work, DB Pro V1 is finally live. You can download it right now for free on macOS at dbpro.app. Windows and Linux versions are coming very soon, but if you're on Mac, you can literally pause this video, download it, and try it out right now. If you're sticking around, we'd love that, because in this episode, we'll show you everything we've added over the past month, including a new way to visualize database changes, a super useful logging table, and much, much more. All of it is part of our goal to make DB Pro the best database app on the planet. If you've watched our previous devlogs, you'll know our rhythm by now. We build for a week, mark it for a week, and then build again, and finally record a devlog at the end of the month. Simple, clean, and repeatable. But this month was different. We wanted one thing, to get DB Pro into your hands, real users, real feedback, because honestly, nothing beats that. So we broke our own rule. We skipped marketing week and built for another week instead. <laughs> I know, it had to happen eventually. I mean, what can I say? We're devs, so we build. But look, we really wanted to ship something and people in our Discord were literally asking for it daily. Okay, maybe not daily, but it was pretty close to that. By the way, if you haven't joined our Discord yet and want to be part of the DB Pro community, the link is in the description below. So what's new in DB Pro this month? Well, quite a lot actually, but the biggest thing is a completely new way to see your pending database changes. Now, surprisingly, not many database clients handle this very well. Most just tell you, you've got three pending changes, do you want to apply them? And that's it. We thought, that can't be it. There's got to be a better way to do that. So we went back to the drawing board and built something visual. And here's how it works. When you make a change, let's say you double click a cell and update a value, it doesn't apply straight away. You'll notice the cell turns orange and the pending changes button lights up. That shows how many edits are waiting to be applied. And this is the part that I personally love. When you click that button, a sidebar appears with a visual diff of your changes. Now, if you're a developer, this will feel right at home. Red for what's being removed and green for what's being added. You can even revert any change instantly with a single click. No digging around trying to find what you edited. And if you prefer to see what's really happening under the hood, you just toggle the raw SQL view. Of course, if you're the type who likes to live dangerously, we've added a setting to switch to direct mode, where your edits are applied instantly, use it wisely. Next up is SQL editing, because let's be honest, what's a database client without being able to write SQL? Now, you'll see a small SQL button at the top. If you click it, it will open a new tab. And yes, you can have as many open as you like, we built the SQL editor completely from scratch. We wanted total control over the look, feel, intelligence of it, because most editors out there just don't feel great to use. Here's a small example of our editor in action. When you type from, DB Pro automatically bumps your table names to the top of the suggestion list. Then after a where keyword, it suggests the columns from that table clearly showing you which table they belong to. Little touches like that make writing SQL faster, cleaner, and just nicer. Now, logging might sound boring, but trust me, it's going to be one of the most useful features in DB Pro. Let's say you apply a bunch of updates and two of them fail. How do you know which ones fail? Well, with logs, you can instantly see every query that ran 
whether it succeeded or failed. That includes your own queries and the ones DB Pro itself makes when you browse your data using the UI. All of this logging is stored in your local database. So if you wanted to, you could export this for an audit trail or even just keep it for your archives. We're also planning to connect logs even closer to the pending changes sidebar. So if something fails, you'll see exactly which change caused it. Simple, transparent, and debugging made very easy. Now this next feature is something we wanted from day one, a proper visual way to explore your database structure. DB Pro can now generate a full diagram of your schema. Every table, every column, every key, all laid out cleanly on a canvas that you can pan and zoom around. And the best part is it will show you relationships between the tables. So you can instantly see how your tables connect, foreign keys, references, the whole web of your data. It's brilliant for understanding a new database, checking assumptions, or onboarding someone to a project. And if you're heading into an architecture meeting, or you just want to share how your system fits together, you can export the whole diagram as a screenshot with a single click. There's no plugins, no external tools, it's all built into DB Pro. And to be honest, it's one of the features that makes a database feel less like a pile of tables and more like a living structure. And we're really proud of this feature. Our goal has always been to make DB Pro the best database app. And that means supporting as many databases as possible. One that's been getting a lot of attention lately is Terso, built on LibSQL. And now we fully support Terso and LibSQL. It's fast, distributed, and fits perfectly with the direction we're heading. Security is something that we take very seriously. After all, DB Pro connects directly to your databases, often containing sensitive data. So every connection you create in DB Pro is fully encrypted and stored securely inside your local database. It's a small thing to implement, but an incredibly important one. And finally, something simple, but something that definitely falls under the quality of life improvement bucket. Previously, every time you opened a new connection, it reused the same window. That meant you couldn't work with multiple databases side by side. Well, not anymore. Now, opening a new connection launches a new window perfect for switching between databases or comparing datasets. It feels obvious now, but wow, does it make a difference once you start using it. Alongside building features, a big part of this month was getting DB Pro ready for the outside world. And that meant stepping into the wonderful, but slightly painful world of app distribution. To ship a Mac OS app properly, you can't just zip it up and hope for the best. You need to sign it, notarize it, and make sure that Apple is happy with the product. So that meant that we had to sign up for the Apple developer program. We had to sort out certificates, uh, register a company, and we had to go through the whole notarization process for every release that we make. And that's it. That's DB Pro V1. It's a huge milestone for us, but we've still got a long, long way to go. This release is a solid foundation to build on. Remember though, this is just the beginning for us. We've got hundreds of features planned, more databases to support, and a full Windows and Linux version on the way. But we're a tiny team of two, so we have to prioritize what matters most. And right now that's stability, polish, and listening to your feedback. So if you do want to support us, DB Pro is free to download. As I said before, you can go to dbpro.app to download it for free. Or if you'd like to support us and you like the product, you can upgrade to the solo plan, which unlocks everything and everything coming soon, like unlimited dashboards and workflows. Your support genuinely helps us keep building and it really does mean the world to us. 
thank you so much for watching and for supporting what we're building. We'll see you in the next one.